Today in the Daily Dose, Australia's defeat at Rabaul. After Allied war planners gave up on their objective of establishing a secure fleet anchorage on the South Pacific island of New Britain, deeming the island indefensible under a full-scale Japanese attack, a garrison of Australian troops were tasked with the protection of a Royal Australian Air Force landing field at Rabaul, as well as a flying boat anchorage at nearby Simpson Harbour. Assets vital to the Allies' surveillance of Japanese troop movements in the Pacific Theater, led by RAAF Wing Commander John Larue, the contingent of men had little offensive capacities, and when the garrison came under Japanese attack on January 4, 1942, Larue sent RAAF headquarters an old Roman gladiator saying, "Nos morituri te salutamus." Or we who are about to die salute you. On January 20th, over 100 Japanese warplanes attacked Rabaul, quickly knocking out Australian coastal artillery defences, while forcing Australian soldiers to retreat from Rabaul into the forbidding dangers inherent within the island's jungleous interior. Two days later, some three to four thousand Japanese landed just off of New Ireland. While on January 23rd, an additional 5,000 took control of Simpson Harbour. On February 9th, the Japanese landed a force at Gasmata, effectively severing the Australians' line of retreat, leading to the capture or surrender of more than a thousand Allied soldiers. Tragically, however, on June 30th, 1942. After some 1,054 Australian and New Zealand prisoners of war had been loaded onto the Japanese merchant ship Montevideo Maru at Rabaul Harbour, bound for a prison camp on the Chinese island of Hanan, the vessel was sighted by the American submarine USS Sturgeon near the northern Philippine coast. While the Maru was initially traveling too fast for a successful torpedo strike. When the ship slowed to 12 knots around midnight, unaware that the ship was carrying Allied prisoners of war, the Sturgeon fired four torpedoes toward the transport ship. At least one torpedo found its mark, and while the ship went down in 11 minutes' time, those Australians who had escaped the sinking Maru sang "Auld Lang Syne" to their comrades trapped inside the doomed ship, making the Japanese takeover of Rabaul. The worst defeat Australia would suffer during the Second World War. And there you have it, Australia's defeat at Rabaul. Today on the Daily Dose. If you like learning something new every day, subscribe to the Daily Dose on YouTube, or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.